Hello folks, welcome back to the channel, Farmer Envoy Extreme here. Here we are on Padding A. This is a map created by MA7 Studio. It is 830.35 megabytes to download. I asked them to slightly move away from the music sec, so yeah. We're on a French map and it says in the description as Fallen. Welcome to French Lorraine, shared between the agricultural plains and the wooded groves. Rediscover agriculture, livestock, forestry, as map consists of two typical farms of the region. One's an old farmhouse with a modern extension, and the other is a large agricultural building perched on the mountainside. Numerous new factories are available. A completely new village gathering points to sales, farms, and production facilities. The map consists of 86 fields of crops, about 10 of them are for forestry slots. At a stream called the Loy Beyond. Several innovations come with the map, such as the roofs of the houses get wet during the rain, the roofs get wet, dry, and frost in the winter. You may see puddles of water in certain fields. Some factories have new functions like the sawmill or mills. Two new agricultural cooperatives, new crops such as mustard, triticle, and alfalfa. A crane for transporting wood to the sawmill or to the Pretty Doll Center, and there to build your own farm, cheese production directly on your farm or in the communal dairy, a secret quest about the history of a funny animal from the Vosages, 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 I'm not sure how to pronounce that, and a whole multitude of new decors like the new mechanic, the cost dealership, the livestock trades, the war tower, and etc. And last bit says this card works with the FS22 Mirror system. So I guess that last bit there got sight lost in translation. But yeah, anyway, so that is the description read out. And yeah, first impressions. It's a beautiful, high detailed French map. And that's why it's such a high file size of over 800 megabytes. But yeah, let's talk about slot counts and the PDA. So on Farm Manager and Start From Scratch, slot count is 1,407. On the Farm Mode, which we're on, slot count is 1,601. And yeah, of course, obviously with new well, Farm Manager and Start From Scratch, you can get that slot count down a touch less if you wish. But that just requires sending off the inbuilt cell points. And thankfully, this map there has no required mods. Man, it's been a while since we've seen a map, a good map like this, that has no required mods. So yeah, let's look at the PDA. So yeah, on new farm mode, we've got a little farm here on plot 103, fields 21 and 19, field 20. Let's double checking that's correct. Also, we've got field 9. And we've got field 25, which, interestingly, and already whoever had this last, they've harvested a crop and left a straw swath, so you can just come on here and start swathing and doing bells if you wish. Get a decent amount of straw from that, not too shabby. And yeah, there's BJ down here, 250 megawatts, got two bunker side clamps, so we'll look at that in a bit. And yeah, so as we approach center, you've got your carpentry, got various cell points, got your liquid fertilizer by point, line by point, and a landscaper cell point, so that is like your manure and all that. Then going up, you've got your firewood, got your Koki Express, and your bakery. Then moving outside the town, we've got the St. Frizz Mills. So yeah, that is your flour mill and oil mill and that. So we'll, again, go and purchase everything. Then you've got your saw mill. Got your trade exit to the city of Epinal. Going up, beautiful countryside into the forestry areas. Got the soy foot agriculture. Then got the Amadou ship with a cell point. For Almond Deer ships, so that most likely will be your straws and that. Train cell point again, rent and train here, train silo. Got your dairy plant over here, so that's your communal one. Got one at the farm as well. 
Then got your deer ship with a workshop and gas station. Oh, sorry, repair shop and gas station. Deer ship is just down here. And then got your other cooperative. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, yeah, with our farm, do have a cow barn. That can hold 110 cows. Got a chicken pen that can hold 30. So, yeah, let's go to the actual farm itself. I'm gonna keep the map up. So, yeah, you've got your main farm here. I think you can enter through this way if you wish. Also, there are side entrances. Oh, yeah, as you head in, already we've got some pallets of seed next to our drill. Ah, yeah, this is the old the old farm with the modern extensions. Chickens, free room. So, yeah, 110 cattle. That's going to be where your milk is. Feeding that goes in here. And then your manure gnats will come out of here by the looks of it. And also, I guess that's your Surrey. Oh no, I was a little something there. Oh no, we're stuck. There we go, we're free. So, yep, yeah, what do you actually start off with on new farmer mode? So, yep, yeah, go to your own equipment. We have the Case Maxim CVX 115, the Class Aryan 660, Harvester's got the Ross Smash Nova 330. Along with a 5 meter header for it, the power stream. Got a 86 pickup. A class carrots trader. Got a agromass POV 5XL plow. A Lemkin cultivator. Got an Amazon power harrow with a Amazon 300 super centilia cedar, so 3 meters. For our spreader, we've got the Brittle K105. Don't really see those much nowadays in terms of on new farm mode and that. Mowers got a Kuhn GMD 4411 and yeah, got a Kuhn GA 4731 wind rover and a Bader Pottinger Impress 125 Pro. And yeah, got a Farm Tech DPW 1800 bell loader, just standard, non auto bells. Front loader, we've got the Quickie Q5M. And yeah, we've got the output fork with gravel, universe bucket, and bell spike. And then lastly, we've got the class 600 kilogram weight. Nothing is least. So yeah, spreaders here, trailer nets here, combine, and other trailers here. Do own some little fill to start off with. And fill prices themselves are okay. I've seen far, far worse. Yeah, I think like the maximum is going to be around like 82, 600 grand, 5 for 1. But you can build up from like little plots like 27 for 60 grand, 192, 86. Like even around like the main farm itself, you're looking at 90 grand, 200, 90 grand. So yeah, between 100 and 200 grand, not too shabby. Definitely room to move up. Yeah, the BG area costs 517 grand. Once you purchase that land, you have the BG. You can own the entire perimeter, that includes the forest, some forestry, sorry. Yeah, a little bit of forestry, but not all of it. So that costs 3 million. And for yeah, the forestry plots themselves, they are quite expensive, but if you know anything about forestry, they do tend to quite perform well. Oh yeah, so I'm gonna have a look at wood and wood chips, see the prices. Three grand, not too shabby. What about wood chips? And yeah, went straight past it. So overall, 1600 at its peak. Obviously wood, there's no like fluctuation price apparently. So yeah, if you want to do forestry and that, crack on. But yeah, so let's get some money in a sec. And then we'll have a look around the farm and the map in general because this is a very beautiful and well detailed map so yeah there we go got the money and also I forgot to mention actually this area here is a bell and pallet storage and 1450 you can hold quite a bit here and well, seemingly because of obviously got a dollar box here and that of course got nothing in store at the moment but 
apparently there's new collisions, I'm guessing. But yeah, so under build mode and that, there's not too many customized options. I don't think there's even a shed, no. But yeah, first of all, we'll go to our silos. So, all you've got is the bunker silo, small, 6 meter by 31 meter. And then you've got your silo for line. And the site extensions got nothing, containers, nothing, tools and that. So yeah, you can sell a lot of this stuff, but be careful because, yeah, there's nothing under either of these because, yeah, if you sell any of these, you're not going to get it back unless you start a new game save. Nothing under here. Painting. Decent color palette, well not color palette, sorry, um, decent selection of materials and that, so, yeah, that's what right, your cobblestone effect here. Oh, got the French Rosers run. So yeah, bell and power storage and that. And yeah, just double checking the map. Make sure I'm not missing anything around the main farm. So yeah, looked over there. Let's have a little look over here. So yeah, got your story tank here. At these you access to the fields. Of course you don't own 32. This will lead to a your liquid fertilizer. No, sorry, your bakery and that. The equalizer point is just down there. But yeah, like, whilst we have a lot of mods with high file sizes, requires like lots of mods and that. Yeah, this does have mods and that. Or well, in terms of customized production, so I do love that animation on the gate. Yeah, what was I saying? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's it. Maps and that. Like, most like recent maps like Evergreen Valley and that. All these kind of maps like. They require tons of mods. Yep, they're detailed, very functional in that. But they do miss that little extra detail that yeah, can't really describe it. And unless you come onto a map like this where everything is absolutely crisp. Everything is absolutely beautiful. The background on the map blends into the actual scenery itself. It's not just a blow up on landscape. Buildings haven't just been whacked down, it's actually been well thought out. That is a stark comparison to the other map we've got today. But yeah, so let's hop into our pickup. So yeah, I think what we'll do is we'll start off the tour by leaving the farm. And then we'll head up to the deer ship. Because apparently there is a quest there for us. Also, got your herbicide, the fertilizer and the fertilizer bowser there. And got your jet wash. Oh yeah, actually, let's go through all these areas, make sure I'm not forgetting anything. So yeah, turn the lights on. But yeah, so I've got little storage areas all over the place here. So yeah, I, like, I do love these like old, rustic vibes. Oh yeah, you got another bell and pad storage, 250 there. Got your garage and that. Workshop trigger is here. Nice little workshop. Oh uh, yeah, but I like, even go around, like, there's rarely any lag in that. Oh uh, yeah, got your input here for your bakery, well not your bakery, your dairy at the farm. So yeah, you can produce your, your typical butter, cheese and that. However, it will also produce bread and cakes. Uh, in terms of ratios, they look pretty much the same. But also, since we can do a mustard, we can do old styled mustard, like proper like Coleman's mustard now. Like English mustard and that, but French. Maybe a bit of Dijon mustard. But yeah, also forgot with the PDA and that. So yeah, you got your customized crops. So you got your triticle. That is these ones here, so they're in more of a yellower yellow compared to the wheat. Got your spelt, which is like the pale color. Alfalfa, which is like these proper dark greens. And then you got the mustard, which is a faintish uh, brownish in a way. Bit, yeah, a bit darker than barley. So yeah, there's that. And yeah, still checking the fields. A lot of them are ready to harvest. There are decent contracts, and yeah. 
may really not pay the most in that. Yeah, not even the biggest fields, but still earn decent profits. But anyways, let's go and tour the map. So, switch you there, keep help menu open. And yep, let's drive around. Oh yeah, also, seat trigger is just there. But yeah, as we go around, you'll see what I mean about this being a awesome little pretty French map. And yeah, make sure we're on the right side of the road. Or the wrong side of the road, depending on where you're from. So yeah, let's have a little hook left here. Like, take some of these like, back roads now, like... Absolutely, like, the detail in that. Like, the houses, the neighbourhoods, and... As you sort of leave the town that, you see that clear divide between city and agricultural land. And yeah, of course, if you wish, there is a customised area to build up your farm. We'll have a little look at that. But yeah, so I'm not sure I'm meant to do that, but anywho. We'll go to here, where we've actually got a functional active deer ship, so... This is a Colossus deer ship. I can actually hop in and do like little test drives with these. Test drive that. Test drive the Axiom 800. I wonder. Ah, nope. I don't think so. That is permanently non functional. Gosh, good thing it has like collisions and that. Oh yeah, actually, can we attach... Can we do a bit of Grand Theft Auto? Or Grand Theft Tractor? Ah, no, you can't attach. Can we attach to this? Most likely, he... nope. Nope, but you can budge him. You know what? We're going to steal this for the map tour. <laughs> Actually, can I was, I was sort of semi expecting like an invisible barrel or something to pop up, but no. So yeah, I'm not gonna steal this, but yeah, in a way, you just have a little browsing option, which I do miss on maps and that, where you do have like a functional deer ship, not just yeah, here's a deer ship, but nothing's on sale. What kind of deer ship is that? So yeah, you got your workshop trigger is here. They're not functional. Got a main door here. No, no access here. Nothing at the back, I don't think. There is seven collectibles to be found. Okay, and then that's the workshop. And I thought it was a weird issue there. But yeah, I'm just going around, see if there's any collectibles in that. Got your washing station and that. But yeah, it's like little things like these, like like detain shop. Yeah, is that a detain area? Yeah, I think that'd be more of a, a outside detail area you have from a deer ship. But anywho, so short trigger is here. And you head upstairs. Are any these doors functional? Oh, wait a minute. Got a collectible. Apparently there's like a weird story or something. I can't retell really that. Try to like, screenshot it and get a zoom in. What the heck is that? Well done, you found a clue about the Doyahu des Vuskas. Vuskas. Go to the children's park to solve the quest. Got eight grand for that. Better for you, sec. Okay, so we're at the park. I'm gonna take a slight detour here. So this is the late. There the who this was just uh, yeah like apparently he's like the well, yeah, I was like curious on this like I don't speak French I don't read French however this day who creature is like a mountain goat with four legs it's a yeah mythical beast in a way or well, according to some say ooh, some believe them do we believe him? I'm not sure. I just been told you had to come here and find this pinned up, so... Okay, that's a sign there. 
But yeah, this is like a mythical small horns goat antelope creature and that. But yes, yeah, come out and go now with four legs or a quadrupedal animal, I think it's called. Do you know anything, sir? No. You must do something, but. Anywho. Yeah, that's a little sidetrack there. Maybe if I do the let's play on this, I'll go for the mystery net, but for now, let's get back to the map tour. So yeah, back onto the map tour itself. Again, just a little diversion, and as, again, it's one of those things with maps like this, like, the map that creates a story now, or lets you have a bit of storytelling. You've got to really give props to that, so we're at the dealership. Got your cooperative up here, so your Vosges cooperative. And yeah, so have a little look. So yeah, it's going to be things like your cotton in that. Corn in that. But yeah, like your wheat and barley can go to either the cooperatives, the train, or the mill itself. And yeah, prices seem decent, seem normal. Nothing is overly inflated in that. So yeah, let's head out of here. Let's go straight across again. Got a cooperative there to, to the left. Have a little quick drive by, so. Got your main station and that. And if you want, yeah, can that activate the grey green crew. Ooh. It actually like tests the grain in that. Sweet. I mean, like, it actually, like, actually sweet that sort of... Off. Why do maps have this more often? I thought we'll have a little look in here. But yeah, things like that, little probes in that, because obviously when you're selling your grain in that... Again, even me, like, like someone like me, who very knows jack shit about farming in general, for the, for the most part, at least. I'll say I know more than your t average folk, but... To be honest, and unfortunately, that's not saying much. See if we can explore some of these areas. Nope. But yeah, I know that for a fact that grain is sold by like weight now, and moisture has a big effect. It can't be too wet, can't be too dry. Well, we prefer to have your crop more moist. Well, sorry, more dry than wet. Because obviously, if it's too wet, you need to pay drying fees now, because it's got to be within a certain percentage of moisture in that, because obviously if you send it, say, a cooperative, obviously if you send it direct to someone, it's different, maybe, but if you send it to like, a general cooperative, yeah, it's mixing with other crops in that, other greens, so it's got to be within a certain tolerance. So let's go and look at the left here. Again, I don't know my French right in that. But yeah, let's have a little tour of the French countryside. We have got a cell point and a production trigger. So you got your dairy here. So this is your communal dairy. So unlike with the one you got at the main farm, butter 15, 13, 480, 15, 13, 480. So yeah, exactly the same. Slight difference is you produce chocolate. 3 to 1200, 3 to 1200. Yeah, the difference between our farm and the dairy here is produce chocolate, as well as vegetable milk from spelt, soybeans, or oats. All the exact same ratios in that, so I'm guessing soybeans is going to be the worst because soybeans are quite profitable. Saying that, I haven't used spelt before, so how the heck I know? So I'm guessing like, the output's here somewhere. Oh yeah, input's here, output is here, through these little pipes, or over here as well. Yeah, just have a little look, see if there's like, any doors and that I may have missed. Nope. So yeah, that is your dairy. Let's head back onto the road. So yeah, heading up here, we've got a workshop and a garage in that area, or a gas station, should I say. So yeah, a little mobile, well not a little mobile, a little out of the woods and that. 195 for refilling my barbecue grill bottle. No thank you very much. 
actually doing me a fast good deal or not. But yeah, you can refuel and repair. And head up here, first of all. I think this is our second farm in that. That is just based on the outskirts. Yeah, by the looks of it, yep. Farm on the hillside. That's the ticket. So yeah, you can purchase this farm here. For 345 grand. And with that, you get sheep. So yeah, feed trigger is here. Yeah. Bell and pad storage, sorry. Over there, I was getting a bit confused on the dial boxes. Yeah, little 35 sheep. Open and close gates. Well, close in a sec. But yeah, I do love that, like, and actually got to go to the gates, you don't just like click in the middle or something. So yeah, you got a little field error here, got 93, got another bell and pallet storage down here. Of course, again, you can use this as a, what, pretty much a, just a normal shed as it is. Because yes, you can sell the, like, the bell and pallet storage option for... Yeah, around about 60 grand, depending on shedding that, of course. So yeah, something like that. And yeah, you can free up slot counts that way, but... If you're doing it for, like, the odd one here and there, you're going to get rid of many slots, so... Nothing's there. Got a little storage area over here. Got a little workshop in that, almost. Well, almost a workshop about the trigger in that. Can climb up here? Nope, no collisions and that. And yeah, I was like, as I'm going around, just make sure I don't miss any of these posters and that. Yeah, I'm not going to go on the active hunt for those, but if they come up, then by all means, I will find them. And heading on further up from the road we were on, take a right here, and this is going to be your train cell point and that, or your train silo and that. But yeah, like, take in the off oh, team beautiful French countryside. So yeah, put your stuff down there. Ah oh, yeah, so rent train is here. Wait a minute, 500? Okay, it's going away. Oh yeah, 500 per month. Or five, yeah. 500 dollars and euros whatever per hour. Not too shabby. So yeah, let's go and have a little look at this train sec, see how it looks. Is it a same generic train, or is it something unique? And by the looks of it, it seems a bit longer now. Like, yeah, it's got, like, wait a minute, got your car in that. Got your one, two, three, four green carts in that. Love how that's from magics and that. Oh, only if we could go through the tunnel. But yeah, so yeah, I think yeah, it's a slightly bigger than that, I think. Or at least more carriages. Of course it's all electric and that. Top speed of 49 miles an hour. Take a squeeze through here a sec. Go and return the train. But yeah, actually it sounds like it's running. Like in terms of the actual grain silo and that. Yeah, got the little motors and that, in a way. So yeah, sort of, in a way it sort of simulates putting grain in and it getting shooted up and into the silos and that, and vice versa. So yes, yeah, so once again, double checking not missing anything. So yeah, next, let's head out of here, and then we'll head up north. So yeah, just heading up north now, heading under the old viaduct, that uh, is the railway. And yeah, time went ahead a little bit. Oops, my bad, crash counter plus one. Yeah, time went ahead a little bit, that's because I had to to get a drink in that, and have the hither break now. And I forgot to pause the game, but anyway, so... Yeah, we're heading up north now to the animal dealer. And yeah, so this is obviously where you can get your animals and that for your pens. 
along with you can sell your straw, hay, grass, and TMR here. And yeah, it's not really common you see a place that accepts TMR normally as a sell point. So yeah, dollar box for your pens are here. So yeah, 30, 35 for the sheep, and 110 for the cows. Yeah, sell trigger is just here. So yeah, grass 118, hay 148, straw 103 in that at the moment. Of course, it's at the new price. I yeah, go up to yeah, silage 472 at the moment. And the TMR, which is a mixture of everything, 363. So, sounds about right. You are missing some cell points for like fabric and that, but of course there's mods and that, along with chocolate. Yeah, well, herb sign that's not too much of an issue. Digestate, things like yeah, like digestate. I recommend the Surrey Yard by Missy B. Not like, whom do you get good prices and that, but yeah, it's a very adequate cell point. Or if you want something like an all-in-one system, then go with the. Uh, what's it? One by so every container by Schultz modding. So yeah, here you have your little padded area, so you can create your own farm up here. And yeah, to purchase this area, it's going to cost you. So yeah, plot one, two, three, twenty-five grand. So yeah, combine that. Let's say if you sell your farm in that. Yeah, that's a million. So just for a mil, you can say buy that. Buy that. Yeah, 600, 800. So, yeah, you can pretty much buy all these fields here. So, yeah, actually, what I'm going to do is purchase that. Yeah, you can have like, access to these like, little areas here as well. And that's the thing I like, like little bits and towns and that. Yeah, you've got the fertilizer and that. Straw and carpentry and that. Yeah, even like little areas over here and that. Little meadows and that. But yeah, I've re. Yeah, in terms with mappers and maps that you purchase everything, because there's a reason for it. Things like shops and dealerships, like having your own electric charge points and that in, or fuel stations or whatever. Ah, uh, yeah, we're up here, lost track of my notes where we're at, so... Yeah, this is the other uh, cooperative cell point, so... Just dump your stuff in here. So yeah, let's open that gate. Ah, uh, yeah, there's no other, it's just that one gate. So the soy feet agriculture. I'm guessing that's going to be like your root crops in that, so things like your, yeah, so yeah, soy fit, agriculture, potatoes, sugar beet, not sugar beet cut, but again, other cell points are available. So yeah, let's go to the PDA. So yeah, so far we've done up here. And yeah, actually, you know what? Let's loop around. Have a little tour of the forestry, and then we'll head down to the sawmill, and then to wrap up the map tour, we'll continue down south, have a look at these areas down here, and end that to BGA before re returning to the main farm. So yeah, actually, yeah, I forgot, yeah, these are pastures for cows and sheep, so have a quick look at those. So the pasture for the sheep, 75 sheep, got your water and feed points there. And actually, oh, toggle, show, or hide the troughs. That I personally do like. Nice little adequate area in that. And I guess it's going to be a very similar thing for the cow, so. Yeah, head over here. Got your wool trough here. Toggle the troughs, yes or no. And yeah, again, it's little details like that. That's why this map is such a high download. And yeah, the cows and that, you can have 60. Love the double gate. And yeah, 
input is here, so I'm guessing... Because, yeah, you've got your war trough here. Got your feed in that, and you can sell these if you wish as well. But again, why would you? Is that for things like... Now that's fit, so that's going to be like your manure and surrey, right? Or your milk. Ah yes, that is your milk, so yeah, milk comes out there. So yeah, there's no other area for the milk in that. Yeah, just the troughs and that, so yeah, this is where your milk comes out. But anyway, so yeah, back up here and... Again, got your probe and that, a bit of probing and that. But yeah, let's head up here. And let's do a little tour of the forest. Yeah, so I thought I'd have a little bit of sight driving there through the woodlands. But yeah, here we are at the sawmill, and yeah, the mountain trees we saw now, like the density of it, yeah, the high cost of that is going to be worth it. So, purchase sawmill for 100 grand. And you do have a unique production, so you've got your wood planks as normal. But with these planks, you can turn those into frames and trusses, so. That is actually very familiar because I actually used to do a job where we put, oh well, we erected frames that, re erected truss and that for the roofs and that. So yeah, things like these and that, like all these are metal. But yeah, imagine that it's like a wood truss and that for a house on a roof or a roof for a house. So yeah, inputs in here and that. And yeah, just, just go here and just go bang, so you would here if you wish. So you can lock your logs on. Don't get taken up here. And then process into here. Similar to, oh, what was it? Silver and forest now, in a way. But obviously just without the water. But yeah, I was saying, yeah, like, did like roof trusses and that. So we put all sorts of uh, roofs and that together in terms of prepping the actual trusses themselves. Didn't do anything else. We was just doing the warehouse bit where you... Where we get wood, we get a laser and that out, so we put it on metal boards. And yeah, my section that I was doing was, yeah, nail guns and that, hammers and that, plates, bash them in, and then, yeah, they get sent off to another part of the warehouse. Where they get the sort of like treated, I'm guessing, and prepped and that for shipping. And obviously it takes delivery, or what, we, we get sent off to the customers and that. Typically, from where I am, around like the Avon subset area here in the UK, it's sort of all the new house developments. But anyways, 
we're at the water mill area. This is the, oh, I can't remember the name of it, the yeah, St. Ferberis Mills. So yeah, obviously you've got your grain mill here, so you can do wheat, barley, flour, oh, sorry, wheat, barley, oats, sorghum and spelt flour. Along with that, you can do your cereals and your oils, as well as your sugars in one, so yeah, a little bit of a, in a way, all in one silo, or all in one production. Nice more physics and animations. Love the sound of it, like, just like how just like it roars in the way. Well, not roars, churns roar in that. Yeah, again, just make sure I'm not missing anything in that. But yeah, like, I love the level of detail. And yep, yeah, the opening gates here. Oh yeah, this is obviously where everything will be. Yeah, so let's look at these like, like, like switches and that. So yeah, just more in the view and sound in that. Just yeah, absolute in all in that. Uh, yeah, again, yeah, still looking at like, anything for signs for the collectibles and that. But yeah, so hop back into the pickup. So yeah, we're just over here. So yeah, let's go to our bakery net. And then yeah, we'll head down past firewood. So yeah, basically this is where we started off with. And then yeah, we'll head down this road here. Look at your fill points and that over here. The water tower and that. And then yeah, we'll wrap off at the BGA. So yeah, heading through the town now. Oh yeah, I sure love like on the map as well. You've got these little dotted lines, which are I'm guessing like riverways and that, or like rivers and that, going underground or something. But anyways, we're at our bakery or the patisserie. So yeah, purchase that for fifty grand. So like, yeah, these productions are absolute bargaining. Yeah, no special ratios and that, but just yeah, a lot cheaper price. And yeah, again, one of my critiques with maps is where. They use like base game stuff that doesn't really suit the area or the theme they're trying to go for, but yeah, we've got the Koki or Koshi Express. That's gonna be a, another sell point. And also that's where like your bakes and that's gonna come out of. But yeah, we're in France, so yeah, expect a good French uh <laughs> bakery. Uh, do we have croissants? Simmer rolls and that, donuts. Guessing like French bread baguettes, but yeah, just looking already croissants. I need my croissants. Oh yeah. Is that like croissants or like pan chocolate? Yeah, I do love a good old pan of chocolate. But anywho. I'm gonna pull out of here. Ah yeah, we'll continue on. Ah yeah, so uh, literally, I could spend hours getting lost on this map. And yeah, really, like French maps, it's never been my, I would say, appealing. It's not because of being British or anything like that. It's just in general. But yeah, got your firewood cell point. So that's why you can sell your timber and that. Yep, again, still looking for any more collectibles and that. Sure, something may have popped up on the death and not noticed. Well, yeah, so I'm a good look around, make sure I'm not missing anything. Because, yeah, I have missed quite a bit on my notes, so. Sort of ad adapting on the fly in a way. Usually, I sort of go around, look at cell points and that, look at triggers and that, and then do the map tour, but. Sort of try to do it in the midst of a way that doesn't ruin the first impression for me personally, so. Like. My reaction is genuine. Genuine? Genuine. Yeah, it wasn't going to head this way. So, yeah, actually, no. I set it back around, so. Yeah, we just came from that way. Yeah, just another way across here. Or if anything, we came this way, I think. To be honest, we may off. All looks the same to me, so yeah. We'll hook a left ear. And yeah, so 
We've got our fertilizer fill points and that over here. Oh, yeah, I am tempted just to go look around the town for a few minutes. Frame more on that, terms with the collectibles. But yeah, got another bell cell point here. And yeah, got wood as well. Actually, no, sorry, not bells, sorry. Uh, yeah, just all bells, I thought. Yeah, bells. No, this is the carpentry. And yep, yeah, get wood and wood and planks and get furniture. Yep, yeah, again, no special ratios in that, but I don't mind that. Generally, I don't mind that. I just seize it as a stated comment. Not as a critique or anything. Just, yeah, here it is. Looks nice, looks well detailed, and looks again. It suits the area, not like the North American stuff we have. But yeah, so we've got our other triggers and that will fill points over here. So yeah, ahead behind the this, oh, yep. Yeah. Something municipality or like municipality or something. But yeah, so this is going to be your liquid fertilizer. So yeah. You can fill up from it, but you can't fill it up without purchasing it. So, yeah, you can purchase up to 173,500 years. Yeah, not too bad. Yeah, again, I'm pretty sure it's like base game stuff now. that. No, just checking if it, was like a, it looks like a bunker side of it did to me. Oh, wait, that's probably what it may have used to be like once upon a time. It may have used to be like a bunker side of it, but. It's been retrofitted and that, or retro-used. And yeah, this is going to be our final cell point area before we head off to the BGA. Yeah, I know this ain't the correct way of going in, but screw it. So, yeah, this is going to be your line fill point. So yeah, fill up with lime. Also, you can sell like, your manure, rocks and wood chips and that. Here, so... Yeah, just confirm. And to the PDA, wherever to, or here. Yeah, the landscape or that. So yeah, things also that takes manure as well. Love the old French flag. So yeah, I'm thinking, just double checking, we have covered everything. Yeah, short cell point there. So yeah, I was right. It was a bell cell point. Yeah, just double checking, I'm not missing anything. Yeah, the only thing I miss, which I do apologise, is you do have a sheep pasture here. That will hold 50 sheep. And then by 59, we've got a cow pasture that will hold 35 cows. But besides from that, there's nothing else I've missed. But yeah, that story of the collectibles and that. That's on its own. I'm tempted to just come on the map for a bit and have a little look for everything, but, oh well, yeah, I've got so much work to do now, and with mods and that, you never know who could get mods and that coming out, at least I've got the weekend free now, so, well at least from mods at least, but, anywho, so yeah, we're at the Methane Vosges, Vosges or Vosges, so yeah, park up here, Yeah, still checking our interactive markers are on. And I may have found the thumbnail for this map tour. Nice, beautiful spot. Where we took some screenshots already of possible areas and that. What are these here? Like, and, what, post markers now or something? But yeah, I was looking actually at the BG first of all, wasn't I? So. I know we need to purchase the area first, so well, that's why nothing's popping up for I already purchased it. So yeah, we got to purchase the area, then everything will pop up, so fill yeah, dump point, sorry for your stirring that. Triggers here, so yeah, automatically is turned on. Once you purchase the land, like with most of these other productions. But yeah, again. No unique recipes, but it's just enough enough for the area. It's not a big, massive, um, what was it, municipality area where you need like a megawatt or gigawatt of electricity and that, or whatever. Yeah, just something simple like that. 
does the job it needs. So yeah, final thoughts in that. Overall, a lovely map now. If you love French maps, if you love maps that are well detailed in that, then really I do strongly recommend this map. If I had 3 out of 5, to be honest, I can't really fault it. I haven't really seen anything of worthy mentioning. No, so yeah, I think, to be honest, it's going to be 5 out of 5. Just have. Oof. My bad, yeah. Got easily distracted there. But yeah, as yeah, can't really critique the map. Yeah, can't find any bugs in that, anything that's wrong. No, not really. Yeah, sure, once I start playing the map, if I did that, yeah, may find one or two things, but I'm spending a good hour or so on the map on its own, just doing prep work and touring the map. Yeah, can't, again, can't just fault it. I generally can. I am trying to find something I can critique about it. Besides from the collectibles and that, in terms of I want to know more about it, but... Anyways, besides from that, yeah, 5 out of 5. Awesome map, highly recommended. So yeah, that's where I'm going to leave it, leave it for today for this map tour. If you find this helpful and informative in some way, shape or form, I appreciate smashing that button. Feel free to comment down below. If you want to share us, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider But for you to do. Hope you're going to stay. But for now, this will be from Evil Extreme. And I'll see you all very soon. And yeah, just as I was even, I found another one of these. So, that's another 16 grand. Well done. You found a clue about the yes, yes, yes. Go to the Children's Park to solve the quest. So, yeah, we need to find all the pieces of the puzzle. Or something like that, but yeah.